This episode of Gaming by Geeks is brought to you by Pigling Host. Hello everyone and welcome to the Gaming by Geeks channel. My name is Adam and once again I'm back with another episode of Minecraft's All the Mods 8. Now I needed four source gems. I cannot for the life of me remember what that was for. <laughs> what was I making? Oh, berries wasn't it? It was, it was uh, seeds, seeds and, and source gems. Let's go and sort you out. So, seeds. Pedestal. Oh, okay, maybe I've got to do these first. One, two, three, four. Whip seeds. There you go. Okay, so you have to put the things down first. Which is fine, that makes sense. Go. That's two. Oh, look at that! That does pick up stuff from from a bit of range, doesn't it? Uh, so I got to eat some some yummy steak. I'm going to take a moment, but not that many moments, so I'll hang around. 80 something percent. Let's, uh, let's see what comes after the mage seeds. Mage bloom fibers. So with your mage bloom seeds, bloom, when they bloom, you can use the mage bloom to create fibers. These are used to craft several items, including a first set of magical armor. So, what is, this, is the magical armor good? So 30 max mana, 1 mana regen, 5. It's not that great, but, you know, I'll do it for the sake of quests. What I'm going to do with all that armor, I don't know, because I've got enough sitting around. Uh, is you, are you garbage? Yeah, you're garbage. You know what? You can all be garbage. I don't care. <laughs> just, chuck, just chuck it all away. Let's put my mana regions potions away. Don't really need them at the moment either. So I need two more source gems. Got another one about to appear. Don't have any in my backpack. No, is it? It's not night time. Overseer Liam. Where's Overseer Liam going to come from? Another one where he supposedly has spawned, but I can't see where from. Oh. oh, there he is. Okay, well, we can all play that game. Some more animal fat, yummy. See, look, this has got mana regen on it, so it might be something that I uh, might want to take off and put onto to uh, some different armor. Take too long, but I'm gonna sit around. So I'm gonna need to put them somewhere. So maybe I will make a little farm uh, out here, especially for amazement. Oh, should I make a um, hopper thing? Botany pot. That's the one. Let's make a botany pot for it. And then. Uh, then I won't have to worry about it. You can just sit there constantly growing. I haven't got to 
worry about harvesting or anything like that. Clay, I should have tons of clay. There it is. Julian the Lazy is coming for a tickle as well. Let's welcome him with open arms and swords. And let's upgrade you to a hopper botany pot. So let's get a normal chest made up. Really, do I have no wood? Tree farm might not be a bad idea either. So one of you and one of you makes the hopper bottom pot. And chests. You can just be the gold one. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I've got earth on me, haven't I? Yeah. Dirt, sorry. Not earth. Where's, uh, where's Julian? There he is. Okay, slow down Julian, you're, you're dying in good time, don't worry. Oh, can I, can I zap you? Zap. Doesn't do much damage, but it's free, I guess. Right, four of you and a gem. He's just turned up. Lord, whatever that is. Brojon Jank, the doctor, who doesn't heal himself. Good job, dude. And you dropped. Uh... If that was an iron one, that would be better. Because unbreaking the efficiency would be quite good with all the other bits in the socket, but sadly, it's, uh, it's no good. And there's another, another nice bow. Not incredible, but nice. So, one, two, three, four, and seeds. Go ahead and make some awesome little animations. Just makes the game a little bit nicer, doesn't it? That makes the third Mage Bloom Seed. And then it goes and gives us some more, which is kind of unhelpful. But anyway, so let's put this. It can go right there, it doesn't matter where it goes really. That's not needed uh, at all. It's supposed to go on the top, there we go. And then we put dirt here and in the mage bloom seed inside and off it goes really you can't work out how to step around that pedestal you're an idiot zombie okay. so what is next so next up we'll be making mage bloom fibers and that comes from getting some mage blooms. So I might actually have mage bloom if I remember correctly. Where have I seen them? Are they in here? I'm sure I saw something like that. Mage blue there they are, a mage bloom. And so my mate bits which I've been missing the last last however long. What have I got in what why is this saying I can't put something in my charm socket? Okay, it goes in the head slot. Rather than anything else. Yeah, yeah. firefly go up there. Make the room look weird. Mm. 
We've got some mage bloom, makes mage bloom fibers. So that's unlocked that a lot. That'll give me a whole bunch more as well. And obviously a bunch of XP. So we can make spell parchment used to inscribe spells on with the and why would you want to do that though? What's the reason behind putting spells onto paper? This is the sort of thing I don't know. Is that what this sort of thing is all about? These scrolls. Oh, we got an entirely different thing altogether. Supplies from cities around you. These supply camps that are sitting around as well. I'll be drawing elemental crafts soon. Oh, use while sneaking to set location a warp scroll, so that's one to look into. Uh, right, so we've got boots, leggings, collar, which I'm guessing is hat, and wrap. <laughs> then we've got battle mage. So we've got sorcerers, battle mage, and arcanists. So let's look at this one. So five armor. Plus 30 max mana. And this one is 8 armor. Okay, so so far the battle mage ones are definitely better. Plus 1 mana regen, plus 1 mana regen. And then the arcanists is somewhere in between. So the battle mage is armor is definitely the way to go if we're going to make anything. So let's look at something simple. What do I need right now? So I've got anything that's about to die. Uh, my chest plate is almost dead. So the battle mages thing is made by using diamond chest plate and some Mage Bloom fibers. So I've got Mage Bloom fibers, obviously. I just need the chest plates. Right, now there is a couple of gents out here who I have now let into the house. But you need to get out. Well, I can get. I need to get bow out and I need to get these guys down below half health, don't I? sword. That was a bit stupid. Well, at least I know I'm not going to die on the roof. Hi everyone, I'm just going to interrupt myself to talk to you about our sponsor, Piglin Host. If you like playing Minecraft but want to play with others at the same time, then you need a Minecraft server, and that's where Piglin Host comes in. Piglin Host offers servers for both the Java and Bedrock editions of Minecraft, and have servers of varying sizes to cater for any mod pack, and number of players. Prices start from as little as £5 or $7 per month if you're across the pond and support mod packs from Feed the Beast, Curse Forge, Spigot, Paper MC, Forge, Fabric or just plain vanilla if you want it. What sets them apart is their incredible support which comes with every server. Unlike other Minecraft hosts that only provide support through email, Piglin Host also provides support via Discord which really speeds things up. As a thank you, Pickling Host are offering 25% off your first month when you use the code GAMINGBYGEEKS at the checkout. Thank you very much, Pickling Host, for sponsoring this video. Adam, back to you. Right, so let's sleep before any more of these gits turn up. Not that actually sleeping actually makes a difference. 
but never mind. So this Mage Bloom uh, Battle Mage's armor is enchanting apparatus. So it's Mage Bloom's fibers uh, around one of these. So it's one of them, two, three. Now you don't have to do it in a circle, I believe. So let's just make that. Mage blooms here are going crazy. This here is full. So let's swap, swap these two round. Go ahead and fill. Now, how does this? So, if I put you there and you, you're slowly, if I put a full one on top or nearby, maybe. Ah, uh, yes. Look, it's coming out of there. Oh, look at that! It made it in basically instantly. Right, far, far better. <laughs> So I can just bang these out now, like no tomorrow. And I also got myself some armour there. The Battle Mage's armour. Now obviously I'm not going to wear that until I have uh, found a way of enchanting it and stuff like that. But, either way, it is done. Uh, I have put my quest book somewhere, there it is. And I need food. So that was that. And that got me some other, some more random rewards, some more wilden wings. Don't know what that's for just yet. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Now, these witches didn't drop anything of any use, did they? As in, you know, what we were talking about earlier. So that's no good. Well, it's not that good, but it's kind of annoying. Uh, so I need to look at what's next. So armor, meh, whatever. Draw a runic on the ground. These runes will cast spells on entities that walk over them. To attach a spell to a rune, inscribe a spell parchment with... Note the rune needs source to operate. Okay, so you can put like little traps on the ground and stuff. So yeah, that's that's all good so far. So the Enchanter's Sword allows you to attach a touch spell to the sword. Uh, all spells on the sword gain one additional Amplify Augment to the last effect on the spell. To apply a spell to the sword, use the Scribe's Table. Create the spell without using a form. Okay, the sword's not great though, so no thanks. <laughs> uh, we've got some some other things, some rings, which will be good. So the ring of discount provides a small bonus to max mana and max and mana regen. I mean that's that's not bad. Why would you need to make both? Or do you use one to make the other one? I guess. Yeah. So kind of expensive, but but also you know if it's going to give. Uh, some some mana regen, and then that allows me to to use my spells more more frequently, and you know, I don't run out like that. So yeah, I mean that's that's a no brainer, isn't it? It's it's cheap enough to make. Uh, so I need oh, cracky. Look at this lot. <laughs> I need some of that. Uh, I'll grab some of that so I can make lots of diamonds. Fourteen diamonds. And a stack and a bit of blaze rods. I mean, that's not a problem, is it? Probably put back out here, shouldn't I? 
should be a good boy and, and keep things in the right places. Where's the diamond one? So the ring, what well, the lesser one is four, two ender pearls, and two source gems. Let's get some ender pearls. Right, so two ender pearls. Oh look, I need a ring of potential. Okay, that, that's that's easy enough. I'll get that in a minute. Uh, two source gems. Speaking of source gems, Got two more in there. I need four diamonds. One, two, three, four. So they can sit there and do nothing because I need to go and make this um, other ring, which I forgot about, which is just iron surrounding a source gem. Or iron, sorry, iron nuggets to be precise. There we go. Pretty colours, pretty lights, nice animation, and that get me a ring, which I'll then immediately upgrade to the next level, which is blazer rods, source gems and diamonds. So I need you and you. So it's what two blazer rods. Was two blaze rods, wasn't it? Two blaze rods, two source gems, and the rest diamonds. Do, do. One, two, three, four. And then put that ring into there. And that then makes uh, the greater one. And that will hopefully go into one of my ring slots. Should have a slot especially for for rings or something, surely. So that's that done. So we've got a sauce berry. That's nice of it. So that are you just gonna go into a slot and be a good boy? into one of these slots. Oh, don't need to go into it. So obviously it's not going to be back. It's not going to be body. There's a bangle one there. It looks like a ring. So where where do you go then? We're going to go in that spot. Everything, everything seems to want to go in that slot. Ring, slot charm, everything. Oh look, I've got two magnets. So there is a charm slot. Just doesn't. There's loads of charm slots. And there's ring slots down there. Do they just not want to go in ring? Hey, there we go. I was wondering about my uh, about my thingies. Right, so if I do this now, does this now last a fraction longer and the mana build up quicker? I think it's fair to say that it does. Not necessarily a lot, but. It does. Do I have anything here that is useful? Uh, 
gonna see if, uh, ma magic protection. It's temptation. That's not any spell temptation, is it? <laughs> uh, entices nearby farm animals. That's different. Uh, also got a lot of other books knocking around as well. Uh, Soulbound, I'm breaking efficiency, protection, efficiency, power, mana boost three. That would probably be the better one, wouldn't it? Rather than mana boost two. Increases the maximum mana of the player. So the more of that you have, the the, the better. Let's put that on. Well, it makes sense to put it on something I'm going to be keeping, like a sword or something like that. Increases the maximum. Oh, or you know, not necessarily a, a sword. It has to go on a a bit of armor, doesn't it? So let's put that on on this. This has already got mana boost, so I can't have that, can it? So let's put it on the hat. The hat is the newest item, and therefore will last the longest. Is there actually a way of seeing how much money you have? How much your how how big is your mana pool, for example? Sounds, settings for dynamic lights, join discord, oh here's the uh, the book, I thought it was, I thought I'd seen it, uh, right what I want to see is familiars, and the whirly sprig familiar, okay so you get bonus saturation when consuming food which is good, Obtained by performing the ritual binding near a whirly sprig. And that's kind of annoying because I had a whirly sprig and now I don't. So Wixies will increase the duration of potions that you apply, and Wixies will accept basic potion reagents in exchange for applying the tier 1 potion result. Additionally, the Wixie will apply harmful potions to enemies during combat. Okay, so he's like a little Starbuncle familiar. We'll grant you speed 2, additionally using a golden nugget on star uncle will consume it and grant you under a short duration of scrying for gold ore, obtained by performing the ritual or binding near a star uncle. Oh, just looking at that picture is annoying. So we've got a flare cannon, that looks like it's going to be doing lots of damage, isn't it? Magma cream and you get a small fire resistance buff. Trick me. Oh, I've seen these. I've seen these things. Uh, let's see what these do. Increase the amount of looting when slaying enemies. Obtained by performing that. A bookworm. Increases any spell damage by one. Obtained by performing. Increases spell damage. Oh, and that's just the book. Right. I wonder if there is a way of automating source gems hmm. right anyway let's put some of this stuff away because I've got loads of crap now let's eat some food before I step outside and I'm smacked in the face by whoever is out there going <coughs> all the time Until I'm ready to smack him in the face. Gems, things, things that aren't necessarily supposed to go. There we go. Once again, I've got too much crap. I need to do something about it.
Thompson Yard. Right, the whole reason of doing the magic was because I needed to, or wanted to make another infinity book. So how do I do that? Now, it's using the enchanting apparatus, which I've now got set up and working. So that needs a block of diamond. It's not cheap, is it? And uh, one, two, three, four, so seven magical essences, which are created in the imbuement chamber. It's the expensive one. Oh, there we go. There's the wilden wings. So I need wild wilden wings after all. I need feathers, and I need arrows. Now I've got arrows. I've got some wilden wings. There we go. I need seven of them. I need seven arrows. I've got stacks and stacks of arrows. What I don't have though is feathers. So feathers could be could be interesting. I don't know. I literally have no feathers. And I can't spell feathers either. <laughs> Can I make feathers using something else? I can make feathers using chicken essence. They can be found in dungeon chests. In fairness, I have seen some in dungeon chests, but didn't think anything of it. But there is the chicken farmer's hut. And I was making a chicken farmer's hut up in my mine colony, which I think is too far away for me to actually make use of. So, maybe I should go visit them, see how they're doing, see if Barrett's actually done anything. I think I've, uh, I've done a fair amount of this now. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, as I say, I'll try and do a lot of this stuff um, off camera because it's just going to be irritating. Um, unlock that one just for the sake of unlocking it. I won't unlock that one yet because I don't have the Archmage spellbook. Because, you know, Nether Stars. Something I should probably look into soon, actually. Wilden Tributes. So I've got to go and summon that Ender pearls. I need more ender pearls. Uh, it's got to be a way of getting getting those. Enderman essence probably going to be the way forward, isn't it? But soul jars. It's going to need half so sixteen. So I need four stacks of that. Which I don't have. Four, four stacks of, of ender pearls is one normal stack, so it's 64. Uh, so I only have 48, but I do have a bunch of nebulous hearts. So I do have enough. So uh, yeah, I should. That's another one that I should probably look at doing. Because ender pearls are, especially in the more end game, something that uh, that gets used pretty rapidly. 